And we are live. Okay, this is day four, Firebug three, uh, raw edition. People love the raw edition. They like seeing me screw up. Um, so we're gonna pick a departure from uh, the raw versus the rehearsed uh, versions. Uh, we're gonna pick up from day two final, which was the final, the shorter video that I recorded last night, um, and. In that one, we only did the refactor from for the new context API, and we did not touch the routines. Um, in the raw video of yesterday, I, I tried uh, implementing the routines, and it was a hot mess, um, basically because I didn't I wasn't sure what the data model was, and I spent a lot of the the time just thinking about the different alternatives, and I got stuck. Um, I was also kind of tired, so. I, I've had a day to kind of sit and um, think about other things, and now, uh, and I kind of want to try it over again. So I'm going to start off from day two final. If you're following along in the future, that's where you clone. Um, and, uh, and that's going to be it. Uh, this is how it looks after day two final. No routines, just the implemented uh, um, working notes to backlog uh, transitions as well as the communication from uh, child to parent to child to, to sibling. Um, so that's all good. Um, and what we want to do just to refresh is to look at this monthly routines um, and try and imitate how they they have a different, um, they have a, um, a data model that stores completions of routines by month, which is uh, interesting. Um, so I can kind of cheat a little bit by looking by um, exporting the database. Um, and I did that. And I looked at their database, right? Um, and really, so they store all of this stuff. Like, I was, I was getting concerned because, like, basically, I'm storing this giant JSON, right? Um, and it doesn't really matter because, like, you're not some giant corporation. Um, so that's fine. Um, but obviously, you can optimize this. But what I really want was the monthly routines. Um, and also to note that they have the completions. Um, within as a, as a sub as a child of the monthly routines, right? So I don't have to do a separate lookup. Um, so that's a good thing. And then the other thing that to note is also they store the frequency, which we used to call in our in our previous uh, day day two. We used to call it num slots, and then we used to, we used to have we used to try to have different completions for. Um, for every single uh, unique key that was passed in, um, that doesn't seem like I, I was. That's where I got stuck yesterday, and that doesn't seem like a very scalable business uh, model. They also have a, an idea of like the order. Um, I don't know why this matters at all, but I'm going to try and replicate it. So like you know, you can have three completions, but uh, the first, second, and fourth are done, but the third is not done. Um, so whatever that means, uh, we're here to clone it. Um, so let's go. OK, so um, starting off, I have a working um, thing here. Uh, and I'm going to, before I forget, hit check out dash B, um, day two, day three raw. Okay, um, And kind of just keep it off from there. So right now, what we have is the, if we look at our architecture, we have routines, to-do list, to-do list, and calendar. And that's, we, that's where we kind of left it from the previous um, final video. <clears throat> so now it looks like we have to just implement a routine uh, JS file. Um, I'm going to just copy a bunch of things over here to save thinking. Um, do I need to know the current date? Uh, I do need to know the current date, right? So that's convenient. Um, but I also need to use, I need to also, also access Firebase. Um, so I need to get the connector function. Um, I'll probably have a date comparison function, but I'll write that separately. Um, and class, I don't know, routine. routine. Um, and then we essentially use all of this because um, it's going to be exactly the same. Okay, that's. Uh, I don't want to copy too much because I stop thinking, and then 
when you stop thinking, you get stuck in the way that the, 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 the example instead of like thinking actively yourself. So I definitely don't want to do that. Uh, but this is very similar to what we had before. Um, so, you know what? Let's get rid of all of this. OK. Well, I mean, if I want to. So I want to do that? No. Hi from routine. I'm going to take this and then stick it into main. And stick it in routines. So this will be the monthly routine. And then this will be the monthly, weekly, whatever. So that should show up. That's a relatively non controversial uh, refactor. Uh, but now I can basically close out of this so I can just focus on, on this one thing. Um, now, to think about the data model, um, let's call it monthly routines. Uh, again, to jump the shark in terms of like, I could do a reusable thing for monthly and weekly routines, but um, that's probably uh, for people that are smarter than me. So um, I'm just going to go as slowly as I can um, so that I don't screw up and hopefully this will be a better uh, attempt than the last time. Um, I know it will. I know it will be better. OK, so if I add the monthly routine. So that's all done. Now I need to know. I don't care about backlog. Now I need to know. Um, this is essentially like a vanity. Like I don't need to know the date it was created. Um, who cares uh, to know. The, the name of the routine, right? Um, and I'm just going to comment this out. And I need to know the, what was it called? It was called frequency and completed. Okay. Were there any non completed ones? Um, yeah, it's just like an empty object. OK, well, we can do that. Um, let me split that screen. So name, well, let's just call it title. Title, call it created, why not? Mm, created frequency, right, which, I, which I'm going to give a default of two. Then I'm going to have a completed, and then that's just going to be an empty thing for now. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to pass that. And so this is going to receive monthly routines. I'm going to pass, so this is going to be an array of routines. Um, should probably routine list, routine list, whatever. Um, and I will probably want to map over this. Um, dot map. Um, take the monthly routine and pass it into a uh, routine. Routine equals MR. MR is just short for monthly routine. I'm not bothering to be particularly um, conscious with the names. Just make re React happy. Um, OK, so now I need to figure out what this routine thing is. Um, everything, I'm, I'm doing everything with classes. Um, that's just low comment. For sure, you don't need uh, classes. Uh, you can use functional components uh, for this. And I, I might do a refactor later on to, um, to make that point. But 
Um, I'm just saying it so you know that I'm aware uh, that I don't have to use classes. <clears throat> okay, so uh, routine is now a prop over here. And with this routine, I have all this info, right? And I can, I need to display that uh, in, an, in an appropriate way. So what do I need? I need the name of the routine uh, on the left. OK, so routine dot title. Uh, and then I need the number of completions and then a minus and a plus. So I'm just going to do a minus and plus. It's easy. And then I'll need a, um, call this a checkbox or something. Um, You know what? I, I can I can do all that logic in here. Um, I'm just like you know. Uh, I I'm I feel like I'm I'm a little apprehensive. Is that the right word? Um, of what this looks like because I don't really have a plan for how to make this. Um, so this is call this. This is too abstract for me. I'm just gonna have a true and a false here, right? Um, and this is the default. Uh, uh, first thing. First, first thing you see when you add a new routine. Um, so I want to show true-false here, just because that's more concrete. I can work with that. Um, completed, right? So, so it's it's a um, it's a function, right? R routine. Um, I have frequency, and I should be drawing off of that. Um, So I need some sort of intermediate variable that that to to help um, to help deal with this boxes uh, checkbox data right equals to uh, frequency yeah hang on it's it's a property of routine routine dot frequency um, so it's let's go with array Um, I, I think that's right. So let me double check my reasoning or my JavaScript knowledge. Um, array five dot fill um, creates these arrays, right? So, <clears throat> or I can do array five dot map. Um, See my little autocomplete thing is giving me a hint here. Okay, that's not really working. So what do I not have in an index? New array five dot map. Some logic in here. Okay, that is not working. Mm. Fill dot map. Definitely work. Okay, so and then if I quotes, what do I get? Good. So array fill is kind of like the way to, to initialize an empty array, um, and the 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 map function just helps me map it to the um, completed array that I have over here. So um, so. What I have in here is array fill dot map, and I don't care about the first variable. Um, I do care about the second, um, and then uh, I have some logic here that just says if routine dot completed is not null or is not undefined.
would T not complete at I? So this is some pretty complicated logic, so I'm going to make this multi-line. So what do I want to check? I want to first check if routine dot um, frequency is smaller than i. I is zero based, and routine on frequency is one base. Um, so I need to I need to add one. So so if i is more than routine frequency, then uh, essentially I have stuff that's off the something like this. I'll, I'll take care of the uh, the actual logic later on. So. What this says is, I have more. Um, I, I definitely have. Well, I should have. Okay, so, routine dot completed dot length. How's that? Okay, so let's say I have um, again checking JavaScript here dot length. That's two, right? Okay, so both are one based. And if routine dot frequency dot completed dot length, if the frequency is more than completed, um, just like mixing these things is so hard. Jesus. Okay, so frequency is always right. So that's why I'm, I'm I'm mapping on frequency, right? So, so I just care about this i. And if if i um, completed, if if i has exceeded if i plus one. Has exceeded routine not completed dot length. I have no data, and I should return false. If I am limits, and I need to return. There we go. So if it exists, so routine not completed I might be insufficient, right? So if I have a an array of one or two and I ask it for the something with the index of five, it's going to be undefined. So this is tricky. So just a keyword I can say. Um, okay, so There we go. All right, so we kind of made it safer. Um, and the checkbox data is just an array of true and false, um, which I can which I can map on value, and I can show uh, whether things are checked or not. Um, for this, I'm going to use to do list because I can never remember how to do a checkbox. Um, don't need a debugger there. And I have this little guy over here. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hey. 
Um, so that should show me something, except um, my data's uh, my data model doesn't match this, right? So I got to go away my old data. Um, also, ooh, my console's already there. I have to say goodbye to you. And goodbye to you. All right. Now I should have a working app. Of course not. It's too optimistic. Um, let's have monthly routines. Give me nothing. I need, to all, I need to remember to always do this because that's always tripping me up. Oh, and I don't have a way to add the, um, the monthly routines. That would probably be useful. Um, so let me split out the div here. Prettier is good, but sometimes it's too helpful. And you never want to be too helpful. New routine. Okay, let's see. Please don't cram without an on change checker. So, why did I say on click instead of on change? And on change. Right? So what I mean? I don't know. Okay, so let me type new routine. All right. Ooh. Ah. So that's an avoidable mistake. Uh, the name was changed and didn't like that. Okay, so I've got two exactly the same components here. Don't really care about that. But I do care about the mapping of stuff let us say key equals to oh god i actually do need the index now apparently this is bad bad practice um but for our situation this doesn't really matter good okay so we have a minus and a plus that don't do anything now and if i click this i should get an alert saying hi Retain two, that adds what I expect. Um, that's good. Uh, we'll worry about the styling later on. Uh, obviously, um, there's a lot of stuff to do on styling. I'll, I'll probably have a whole episode on just what we need to do for styling. Um, so we have the functionality. We need to be able to off. I would say that's like kind of like the next best, next most important thing. I hope so. And the other thing is, like, because I can actively change the number of things here and it still remembers, um, that is a very interesting data model. Um, so checking things on and off basically just mutates this part of the data model, right? It just adds. Um, True or false? Let's say I check this off. Wow, it still persists. Um, hmm. <clears throat> okay. Well, Check monthly routine. Um, I need to know something about well, I need to know the key of the routine. That's important. Um, Do 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 do
I, yeah, I want the key here, and then I want to update this, right? Just like we did the update over here. Um, and we're definitely updating completed. But what I'm hesitating on is I don't know what I'm completing. Um, so I definitely have, so we have two cases, right? First case, um, the completed array is smaller than frequency. In the second case, completed array is bigger than, fre than frequency. Um, I don't necessarily have to deal with that right now, so I'm actually just going to pass, just going to um, avoid the issue of cloning that exact behavior and just ask for a new completed array. Um, and this I know because that's just, um, that's just what we get from Right, you completed, and that's that's all I need. That's just what we get from the checkbox data array, right? This is an array, um, just an array of true, true and false, uh, correctly adjusted for routine dot frequency. Even though there's no incentive for routine dot completed to respect that routine dot frequency, as we've seen in our in our experimentation with this, um, but we have this. Um, event, the, this method, um, and we can supply it uh, if we want. So I don't really need the event, but I need the key that it comes with. Um, do I need the key? I need the key and I need the uh, new array. Does that even make sense? Uh, OK, so I'm just going to call this, right? So I'm going to introduce a degree of um, check, a checkbox. I don't really need that. And then at some point, I'll call this up props. Dot Check monthly routine with uh, the key and the new computed. Um, and that will close my loop over there. Um, so I'll need to know, need to have a sense of what the key is. Um, um, I'll just get checkbox data. It's, that's not the best way of doing these things, but whatever. Um, and then I'll have an index. Um, um, and what I'll be doing with that index to modify is I'll say, um, for example, need the checkbox data index equals of the checkbox data. Uh, and I'll pass along that checkbox data. So I think that's right. We will see what happens um, when I fail horribly to do this. Um, we need the key of the routine, so routine.id. And then we need checkbox data just pretty much just passing along. And then we need the index, which is IDX. So prettier reformats for me, finally. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and set this to true, uh, to, to false, because that, that is actually the behavior that we want. Check, check box is not defined. Of course you're not. Ooh, look at that. That's nice, huh? 
fantastic. Um, so that's resolved. And now I need to handle the minus and the pluses. Um, these are little square things. Um, I guess they're divs. Uh, I can cheat a little bit and uh, see how path variable. Ooh, little SVG. Um, he's using he's using a button. Um, so I'm gonna use a button. Okay, and then this will just change the. Um, Um, change monthly routine frequency. So new frequency. So I'm making. I'm basically making these as dumb as possible, and then let, letting the render logic figure out all the new the how it should look. Um, and that's probably a good idea because that's why React is so successful. Um, we just need to be. Careful with how we implement it. Um, add checkbox equals to key. Um, don't need a ton of other things and new frequency. Um, frequency add or mm, uh, modify routine equals key or frequency, key and um, current frequency uh, is add. Oh, no. um, and that is just going to call this thing. I'm going to just combine a bunch of logic because it's not super important. Key, current frequency. All right, so if this if modify routine is called for an add button, I'm going to say current frequency plus one, frequency minus one. Um, better stated. Plus is add one minus one. Then I'm going to make that. The on click is uh, whatever. Um, why is this not colored nicely? I, I want it to color nicely. I'm doing something wrong. Oh, there you go. Um, routine dot ID and routine dot frequency. Beautiful. Um, this is for subtracting, so that's a false. And this is for adding. True. Um, I think that's kind of it. You know, I'm not super proud of this code. I should probably move the routine stuff up in there because I can read it from props. But whatever, it's going to work. Um, I'm going to add and subtract, add, and add, 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 subtract, subtract, subtract. So the, the lack of styling is really annoying me because this looks nothing like that, but it functionally is the same. Um, whatever. We should just be proud that we got to somewhere where it starts working. Um, isn't that nice? <clears throat> cool. Um, and um, What do we what do we want to do for now? We want to okay, so do I have all the functionality? I have the ability to add and I have the ability to check stuff off and I have the ability to to do pluses and minuses. But I do not have the ability to um, jump between months and see things disappear, uh, which is what I really want. Um, so that's not good. All right. What do we, what do we need for that to happen? Um, we need the completion model to be a little more sophisticated um, and what that means is 
Um, this is going to this is just going to be a null, and I'm going to stick an stick an object in there every time, right? Because if you look at reference implementation, I guess of this, um, it's a it's an object uh, with a key, and and then it has an array. Um, so that modification piece is a little more complicated than what I made it out here to be. Um, so let's not do any frequency changing for now, because I don't know how that works. Well, I think the frequency changing uh, works fine. It's just the completed um, that is going to need to change. Um, you know, I wonder what happens if I try to modify the completed thing. So uh, I need some raw data for, for, that, for that to work. Um, and first of all, I need to, so these are date stamps, uh, date time stamps. Okay, in my, my database, um, I'm going to see date time, which I don't want, because I just want um, the date, or even just the, like, the month. Um, <clears throat> See these? Uh, I don't want that. I want uh, just raw date. In fact, I'm just going to have raw month. Um, and I got the ISO logic over here. I'm going to call two ISO strings slice ten uh, for for just a date, um, and uh, slice seven for just a month. Um, so I'm just going to stick it in there and actually just use dates to month um, because that is a better re reflection of what I actually want. Just the month and year of a of a particular thing. Um, it's all I care about for a monthly routine. Um, I'm also going to repeat this. This is just temporary. Um, I just want to see what it looks like in the data model. Um, and what does it look like here again? And then it's just two false and false. Um, so that's saved. Uh, I need to nuke this again. Sorry, guys, uh, because I just changed the data model, so I don't want any old stuff to hold me back. Um, I'm also I'm also forced essentially to anything I anything that depends on the completed field like that. Um, that's going to change because completed is an object with an associated um, month. So um, this is where the knowledge of the current date comes in, which I connected over here. Uh, I'm going to do current month, because that's all I care about within this world. Um, so. Um, and then, oh, look at that! I don't, I don't have to um, have to take care of any of this. It's just all props that current month now. Uh, this is also props to current month. You know, calculating things one time at the top level probably makes more sense than whatever I was doing. Um, don't have any dependencies anymore. And then uh, for this thing, I need a um, so instead of completed, I need to say, all right, let's where do Bunch of areas. Um, so these are fine, these are fine. This is not fine. Um, and I will fix that when I get to it. Um, but this is something I should fix. So completed. Um, 
per month dot length. So what I've done is I've just indexed into current month um, and then found the array. Um, and I'm going to have to need to need, I'm going to need to do that for all of these guys. Um, so I'm going to extract that out. And stick it in here. Um, I think that is good enough for us to display. State is not defined, routine.js 989. Oh, I can't do it in here. Oh. But I was being nice to you. Of course, I'm just terrible at this. All right, and you. Okay, so I've got two falses. Um, that's never good, but let's look at the base side of things. When I say that's never good, I just meant I should have done a better example. So, okay, good. This is this is kind of what I want, right? I want I have a date that and I have a corresponding this date. I'm just copying what they have here, um, but whatever. Um, uh, that's a that's probably like a date of you know creation or whatever. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll worry. I'll, I'll worry about that later. Um, and uh, more importantly, I have the of these two falses here. Um, and so my question is now, can I update this by just adding a slash completed to my key? Um, completed, right? If I save that, what happens? If I save that, then, then I just need to know what uh, date it is. Um, do I know what current month is? Yeah. And then current month, once I have current month, I mean, that's too specific. I, I feel like I'm just diving in too deep. When really, what I need to do is have the current month in here um, and, and have the new completed array uh, update accordingly. So, uh, get ready for a heavy crash. Oh. If that update is not a function. Okay, that's to be expected. Um, so what we're running into is the alternating um, <clears throat> dimensions between what is a document and what is a um, an object. Let's see if there's any better error, because I feel like that error is not a lot to go on. Um, no, that's that's all I get. Okay, I only update one field. Do you just drop things on me? I I bet you don't because, you know, that's that's why um, Google has smart people. What if I only update one field within a, a broader completed field? Uh, what then, right? OK, so to, let's say I jump to May. Ah, I got nothing. Length of undefined. Current month completed is undefined. So I need to provide some sensible default. So routine.completed, 
All right, let's let's look at what's going on here. Routine not completed. Current month is it, this is undefined, right? Because routine not completed does not have this. So current month completed is undefined, and therefore I have all this stuff. Um, so if there is nothing, I should be supplying an empty array. Is essentially my um, conclusion. Mm, no. I should be supplying uh, not just an empty array, but um, an initialized array with the frequency, right? Array, um, array routine dot frequency uh, dot fill, um, and I'm just gonna fill it with falses. Do 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 do. So that's really great. Um, but let's see if a uh, month changing works. Month changing clears away. I check the second of May uh, of, of the May calendar, and then when I go to April, um, I've lost um, the one the piece stuff I wanted. So what happened there? Today is the fifth. Um, I have lost everything. That's very sad. Why have I lost everything? Um, let's look at let's look at the. Um, okay, so it that that would that would happen if um, setting part of the object clears the object. So now you see I only have stuff for May, but I don't I don't have anything for April. Um, so that is the behavior I was relying on and hoping that they would have, but um, that's probably too much to hope for. See if they have um, something to. <laughs> Update fields and nested objects. Oh, look, I can say dot. Oh, that's what they want me to do. OK, um, let's try that. Not what I meant to do. Huh? You know, you have to have a very good, um, solid understanding of ES6, um, or you'll just get trapped up in all this backticks and what have you. Um, not fun. So, so I'm in April right now. I checked the first and third of, April, of the April month. And then I go to May, I get my second, and I check my fourth of May, and then I go back to April, and bada bing, bada boom. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I have a working monthly routine calendar. All right, that wasn't so bad. Easy peasy. Uh, I really want to fix, okay, the next episode is about CSS. I, I, I have just, I can't, I can't look at this and, and be happy about it. Um, but at least I can jump between months and uh, have things. Jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up, and jump down. OK, so I can add monthly things. That's fantastic. Um, now I have to add weekly things. What is this? Oh, I found a little bug here. That's no bueno. Oh, I guess he, he's just allowing for a multi-line. Um, routines. That's not a good idea. I should probably tell them that. Um, so we have monthly routines working, but I need to generalize this for weekly routines, and then we're done. Like with this recording and essentially with functionality, we still need to figure out like authentication and search, but that's more or less it. And then the rest is just styling. So um, we're 50% of the way there. 
Um, so let's go to weekly routines and do the same thing. Okay, so um, I mean, and and this is very motivating, right? Because you know, I wasn't sure. Uh, I, I ran into a wall last time, um, and now that I've sort of powered through it, I, I know that I can finish up um, whatever else I need to do. So let me just insert some divs in here. So I know I'm just going to need it later on. Um, and then, you know, routine, whatever. Uh, type equals. Uh, I'm just going to have an and like, is monthly equals false. Um, you can debate what this is, but whatever. Um, so if it's monthly is true, then I then I do all the monthly monthly is false, then I do all the um, um, weekly stuff. So uh, is there an API for JavaScript? I'm just gonna keep this up of year. La, 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 la. No, I don't like this. There is there a better way of ah, there's a gist. Gists are always good. Get weak. Okay. I don't want to extend the date prototype. What is this Gen 4 thing? That is just absurd. Weak number.net. Wow, is that really that complicated? Get weak year. What is this talking about? January 4th. Why is everything on January 4th? It always seems like, get week number. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I can work at this. All right. So, so this is what I want. I'm gonna attribute good Stack Overflow. Always vote. Always upvote useful Stack Overflow answers. Literally, like it. it probably future you is gonna use it. Um, so that's. Good. Um and. Instead of this, I want to have year. Um, whatever, I'm going to cast this to a string. Year plus week number. I don't want an array. OK. Um, so I can get week number. Um, and so if it's monthly, do that. Um, and then if not, do. Date to period. So I'm going to just rename this date to period. Um, I have baked in a bunch of implicit assumptions. So I'm going to have to go through and refactor those, um, starting with whatever this is. OK, so it looks like over here, I got to get with the logic. Um, I cannot simply return. Um, so this is equivalent, um, and I need to say things like um, um, <clears throat> uh, base uh, 
<laughs> um, period routines. I don't know what to call it. Just don't at me. Um, is monthly. So if it is monthly, call it monthly routines. If it's weekly, call it weekly routines. Um, bum, bum, bum. Um, I'm going to call this period routines too. Um, and I'm going to have to go through this very, very carefully because um, they're all going to be very different. Um, could just leave it as monthly routines, but that's going to confuse the hell out of someone um, who's a who's programming a future and going like, how do you account for for um, weekly again? Um, so that's not very good for myself or for people watching. So I choose to do the hard things because they are hard. Um, all right, let me just focus on the period routines. Mm -mm, monthly routines are bad. Period routines are good. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Monthly, monthly routine. So now I only have the the method names, and I'm just gonna uh, rename all of these to um, add period routines. Basically, just replace the word monthly with. Um, it's just to just to be extremely clear what I'm working with. Um, change in frequency. Um, you know, things were so much easier when I didn't have to generalize things, but that's you know that's that's part of the challenge, right? Um, Okay, let's look at the logic and go through it again. I think everything else does work um, for the, uh, oh, I still have a reference to current month here. Um, what do I actually mean to say? No, it's, it's called current month. Um, so, so the current month, I re refer literally everywhere. Current period. Bada bing, bada boom. Please don't die. Weekly one, weekly two, whatever. Click, click. Um, when I jump to another week, disappears and I click the opposite direction and I jump back to the old week and then I go here and here and here it persists with me no monthly routines is broken I'm staying within the same same um, you see that I, I'm staying within the same month but this this just assumes that um, I need to change for every week, so that's not good. Now, why is that? Let's look at our database. Okay, so for uh, monthly routines, I have twenty eighteen fourteen twenty eighteen fourteen. What is 2018-14? What is that? Uh, that's not good. So, so it looks like monthly routines is somehow taking the week logic, um, and that's unintended. If it's monthly, take this. If not, take this. That's date to period. Mm 
some help right now because I have factored myself into a corner and I have no idea where I went wrong. Um, so this is where I should be console logging all over the place. But I'm just going to give it one look over to see why I actually um, calling the wrong thing. OK, so I have no idea what's going on. I am going to, so how do I resolve this, right? <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to just log a bunch of stuff, and we should be able to see what's going on with our project. So first of all, log whether it's uh, we're in the monthly or the weekly component, and then log whether what our, our period is, um, and that should tell us um, if if this goes wrong, then. Um, See, for the monthly, it's showing the week. In fact, it's, it's show, it even, yeah, it's, always, it's just always returning this. So um, something's wrong with is monthly, because date to period is always get, ah, you see? Look at that. Debugging. Done for you. Um, just that good. Not usually that lucky with um, my debugging. So um, I do have some invalid entries, but now that is no longer uh, a concern. So I have this pattern for monthly and this pattern for weekly. If I change weeks, that goes away. I change weeks again, that goes away, but the monthly stays the same. Same until I switch months, and th that changes to a different pattern. If I go to a completely different month, all of these are gone. Um, so that is how we do the monthly and weekly routines. And I can finally get rid uh, this card because that was um, that was not trivial. Okay, well, uh, that's it. This is going to be the um, day three raw um, done with day three, and you can find it in the repo as well. Um, so yeah, um, you know what? If I repo firebug planner. Um, you can also find me on Twitter, Firebug Fam, um, and you can also find the YouTube channel where you've where you've seen all these videos. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. That's if I know how to quit this thing. Um, how do I quit?